Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service office in San Diego. Hey, we're here to talk to you about light precipitation for the weekend. Yeah, we have a cold front moving through showers and cooler weather. More significantly, we got offshore flow, Santa Ana winds setting up by Sunday night and Monday that'll continue through next week. So let's talk about this. Here are the headlines. Scattered precipitation Saturday afternoon, evening for the weekend few showers could linger into Sunday, especially San Diego County. Now, uh, more certainty for the Santa Ana winds next week, and they could develop, it looks like, as early as Sunday night and Monday across the Inland Empire, and then spread further south and become stronger for mid next week. So we're looking at critical fire weather conditions uh, with those Santa Ana winds. This winter, uh, we do expect a variety of storms. So I think this is gonna be the theme. Cold storms, possibly some flooding, and then a lot of dry periods as well. And we're just now entering our Santa Ana season, so we have to deal with those. This is the precipitation expected for the weekend, light amounts. Uh, most areas, just enough to wet the ground under a tenth of an inch, but locally, a little bit more across our foothills and mountain areas as shown here. So the San Bernardino Mountains and the San Diego Mountains with the main precipitation. All right, the highest winds on Sunday night and Monday. So look across the areas to the north, the yellow and the orange. So the wind corridor, the winds will be coming from the north. You can see it comes right through the Cajon Pass down through the Inland Empire. Uh, wind will make it all the way down to San Diego County, uh, but not as strong. And then you see another wind corridor up north of LA as shown here. So this is wind event, Santa Ana wind event number one, Sunday night and Monday. Okay, once that storm moves through, it's gonna really dry out. Uh, the north winds pick up and uh, we start the Santa Ana winds. Uh, look at the humidity uh, for Monday, even down to San Diego County. Uh, we get into the teens. So very dry conditions after some of that light precipitation quickly sets up with those dry northerly Santa Ana winds on Monday. The weather pattern for the weekend. What's causing the rain and the wind initially? Well, we have a storm tracking along that white line. That's the jet stream to our east. So we're on the dry, windy side as it moves through the Mojave Desert on Saturday. And by Sunday, it tries to park out over the desert southwest. What this does is brings a cold front through our region for some precipitation, but also brings the cold air across the Great Basin for the setup of Santa Ana wind. What do we mean by Santa Ana wind? Well, that'll be the high pressure uh, in the low levels where we live near the surface, and the wind will blow from high to low. It can't get through the mountains, so it goes around them, over them, and between them. And that's what makes our region so unique for these strong winds. Now for later in the week, Wednesday through Thursday, we see a different scenario setting up with a new storm, a new push of cold air coming down from Canada and over the Rockies and the Great Basin. So that's gonna be the potential for more widespread and even stronger Santa Ana winds next week. This could linger through the entire week. So Wednesday, Thursday of next week, that storm, number two, decides to park out over the desert southwest. And more importantly, we see an even stronger high pressure area over Salt Lake and the Great Basin. Again, the wind will blow from high to low pressure. The tighter those lines, the more wind that will come down. And that is a classic scenario for Santa Ana winds mid next week, Wednesday, Thursday. It looks like the conditions are gonna linger um, through the week, uh, even late in the week on Friday, even though the whole pattern starts to moderate and weaken. Again, the summary, scattered precipitation Saturday afternoon and evening, if you got any plans enough to wet the roadways, most of it light, a few showers should continue into Sunday morning, mainly San Diego County. Then we set up those north winds, Santa Ana winds, Sunday night and Monday, and they become stronger and more widespread, meaning they affect more areas as we go through mid next week, for example, by next Wednesday. 
The back-to-back -back episodes of Santa Ana winds lead to critical fire weather conditions, in other words, rapid drying uh, and low humidity. And that humidity drops off on Monday, but it'll stay low and get even lower through the week uh, with those dry Santa Ana wind conditions. So critical fire weather conditions setting up for next week. You can check the alerts in your area at the two links provided here. So you can see what areas are most affected by the fire weather conditions and the wind and low humidity. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for joining.